Good evening ladies and gents. I'm sorry the quality won't be as great because I'm on the iPhone. I've run my other one out. But we're at All Saints Church in Poplar. Built between 1821 and 1823. The architect was Charles Hollis. So There. That told you, didn't it? looks very similar to um <clears throat> oh god I can't think of the name of it now oh dear one at Limehouse <clears throat> there's a church at Limehouse that's missing its steeple it's an Anne's at Limehouse I know how to get it I think that's it anyway with most of our churchyards, as I've shown you before, a lot of the gravestones of all, oh, nearly all the gravestones, nearly have been moved around the, the edge. Or if you want to say that in estuary English, the gravestones have been moved around the hedge. Oh, oh. oh that was disappointing. You expect to see a tomb or something like that, don't you? But no, no such luck. This is the crypt. Crypt door. And we'll check around the edge of the stone because sometimes these places have. Uh, Carvings, you know, like uh, mason's marks and stuff. Oh, there's someone in there. <coughs> the church is closed, but there is someone in there. So. I'm not in the mood this evening. No, not today. <laughs> You've all heard that bump as well that came from in there. I have checked online and the church is closed. There's not a single light on inside it and yes, that was strange wasn't it? Very strange. Oh well. No docks. Memorial garden please respect. I bet it's locked. No it's not. Oh how convivial. Oh, we'll have a look in there then. Obviously these big posh fancy graves have been left in place. I don't know if they've had vandalism in this one or not, but it looks a jumbled mess there, doesn't it? Get out from this side or not? Is there a gate over here? No. Oh, there's a gate there. I was going to say I'm trapped. Hey yo! Hey yo! No, we're good. This one, I think, I'll only be catching it on a Sunday, more than like. Same as St Anne's, and I'm not a church service type of person, if I'm honest with you. Garden of Remembrance. The handle's completely broken on that side, so. John Trevans. Okay. And a 
lot of filming today. Sorry about the moving about a lot. My arms are aching. And the quality isn't as great on this one, but we can see what we can see, so. Oh, there might be someone inside. There's two cars parked there, so that's possible. Sometimes churches often have their church wardens bopping around doing their thing. Doing their church warden stuff, whatever church wardens do. I dread to think. And this round here is just the churchyard. That I shall show you. This one will be under 10 minutes this. So that's that's convenient, isn't it? John Rennie, son-in-law of L and S. Johnson. Oh, I was gonna say I wonder if it's any relation to John Rennie Macintosh, but obviously not. <laughs> Legs are aching today, I've done a fair bit of walking. Very nice, nice and neat and tidy, this will, uh, yeah, Regency. No, George IV, because uh, King George III died in 1820, this is 1821 to 23, so this is a Georgian church. But in that Regency era, and very much in the Regency taste, very plain, very simple, but elegant. I've seen all different types of churches, Gothic, High Gothic, Victorian, Georgian, Renaissance, you name it, I've seen it. Also, Mr. Frank Benjamin Blewett. They swore they didn't do it, although Mr. Blewett never knew it. Sorry. Me and my family have a kind of a pun thing on names. No disrespect. If they're EastEnders, they should have a good, good sense of humour. Right. Get you to eight minuets on this one. Enjoy something nice, preferably. <laughs> 